Hi, I'm Jane Lawson and welcome to Downtown Bell. Today I'm here with Miss Ruth. She is an employee here at PB and Java. Yes, PB and Java is a new coffee shop and peanut gourmet peanut butter sandwich shop that is opening in May. It is being run by and owned by our nonprofit, which is a community engendering nonprofit called City 616, whose mission statement is to bring the diversity of our city together for the advancement of community through the arts, education, and service. And so the coffee shop will be one arm of that nonprofit. Ever since Ruth and I have been here, we moved here seven years ago, top priority on our list has been to engender community here. Uh, one of the ways we've done that is to have a dinner once a month called Greensboro Grub, and we invite 60 people from the community in, and we eat dinner and go into the next room and share talents with each other. And so um, that's been wonderful, and the, diver the diversity of the Grub has been fantastic. PB and Java will be an extension of that. As Ruth said, it's a street-level door that anybody can come in, and we want to engender community down there as well. Okay, and I know you mentioned about the arts. Can you um, go in detail what it means about the arts for the PB and Java shop coming soon? Well, PB and Java will have a small stage in the coffee shop. Okay. And we want to have at least one event, event once a week, a community event that would bring people in, maybe something like an open mic night that, you know, many young students would come to. You hear that, college students? <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe a mu musician jam night, you know, they can get together, anybody bring their musical instrument. Uh, even panel discussions or, or, you know, social issues that people want to discuss, uh, would, uh, we'd be very open to. And also there's a kind of theater called Playback Theater, which we're wanting to start a playback theater group there. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I've done some research on PB and Java, and I noticed that it's not just the basic peanut butter and jelly sandwich that every college student probably thinks of. Can you think and go in detail about yes. the sandwiches that you offer? We call them gourmet san peanut butter and sandwiches because the flavor combinations. So we are going to have your basic PB and J, you know, for <laughs> people like you. <laughs> But also, we want to bring in things like we have a, uh, one called the Bangkok Bomb, which is a Thai-flavored peanut butter sandwich. Now, okay. you're going to have to try at least I'm, one bite, I'm okay? I'm open, so I will, I will try. <laughs> and uh, then we have the Elvis, which is banana, peanut butter, honey. Mm. But then there's the Fat Elvis, which is banana, peanut butter, honey, and bacon. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm thinking I'm probably going to try it on the next segment, guys. So just, just wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we, there's and there will be a variety of those. Um, there's one with blue cheese and apples, and so that's what makes them gourmet. Uh, one of the things, like Ruth talked about, coming and put your hear uh, headphones on and ignoring everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to have Wi-Fi, okay. but I've also <laughs> I've also purchased a World War II crank siren. <laughs> And every two hours, we're going to crank that siren and say, all right, folks, the Internet's going off for a half hour. Get to know each other. Yeah. And, then, um, and then we're going to say, anybody that brings a new friend you never met before up to the counter gets a free coffee. Oh, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs>